Hello folks, back again. I'm just, uh, I've got some small bowls, kind of open bowls and more closed in small bowls and I'm just putting on some white slip on some of them. So why don't you join me? We've not got much battery so we're gonna make this a, a quick clip I think. Very bright out here, difficult to see. Well, as you can see, I've got these tea bowls. Uh, oh, this tripod does make a noise, doesn't it? Nice oh, doing that. Got to get a new one. This one is really getting on my nerves. Anyway, um, yeah, you can see there. Some of these, I like to put the white slip on these when they are. Um, A little bit past the, a little bit past the leather hard stage. I've got a little chuck here. There's different ways of doing this, and I've got some white slip here in a little sealed container. I've got a Hakimi type brush here, just made out of uh, straw, you know, one of those straw brooms. So, uh, yeah. Okay, we'll dispense with that, that's not working. I like this more as much as anything to give a sort of like a backdrop for a decoration so it forms if you like you can think of it as a almost like a sky and Another way of applying it is is with a is with a is with a brush. It's better to wet your brush before you put it in the slip, okay? And then just working from the center upwards to the rim. The nature of these of this decoration or this technique for me is to give a rather a rather random effect. So when you've done it you just put it in the sun there. These are small little bowls that we we trimmed and I'm just spraying them with a bit of water. You know, the, the, the sense of touch here is very, is very, um, how can I put it? The sense of, the sensibilities that one has in, in one, what, what one is doing here is, you have to, it's very much touchy-feely, if you know what I mean. So... You almost have to... Yes, there's technique, but there's also... There's instinct and... Letting things... Happen... In their own way, sometimes. Rather than being too... Um, manufactured or contrived. Uh, 
There's a looseness to it. You know, and each one's got a bit of a spiral. But later, you see, this is going to form the backdrop to me coming along with some iron oxide and doing a little decoration there. So, I think of this as the the sort of sky in the picture, if you like. You know, and there's no no rules here. You do what you do what inspires you. The kind of things I like to see in my in in my own work as I do this is a sense of spontaneity and like anything you know when you're working when you're working spontaneously with material like this there are no guarantees that it's going to come out exactly as you want But well, that's just the nature of the beast, as it were. You have to take the bull by the horns somewhat and just... Are we still recording? The battery was low a little. We are. Good show. Um, yeah. So I've got a, like a soft, regular type painting brush here. Now, you want to apply the slip. I find the best way to apply the slip is with the wheel revolving rather slowly. So you get a sense of swirling action, you know. That's what I find works for me. And you know, and then, uh, and it's, it can be a little irregular in the, in the, in the application. But that, but that's okay. That's that's how the cookie crumbles. <laughs> yeah. So get some white slip. Get yourself a like one of these type brushes. And. Swirl it up, swirl it up. <laughs> this is one thing I wanted to show you. I've done it before with you, we've done it before, haven't we? Um, now, with this, with this T-bowl, I'm gonna do it slightly different. I'm not gonna do it on the wheel, but I'm gonna twist my wrist like this almost a full circle and then I'm going to paint it and unravel it you see I'm going to get a very I want to just get a bit of layer on there like that okay now I'm going to take my Hackamy brush and You have to do this a bit quick because, yeah, the slip is already starting to dry, you see, and you scratch through. 
scratching through the slip with a Hakami brush. But yeah, you have to, you have to. Another way of doing that is to dip it and then scratch it, you know. These are getting a little on the dry side. It's very warm here and drying weather today, so I'm having to work with my spray here. feeling of movement something happening you see sometimes you just strike it lucky with the with the brush and it just goes and when you look at it it gives you pleasure you think yes I like and then another time it doesn't the thing is not to be discouraged keep going and you know discover your technique that is particular to you, the way you like to do it, you see. We're going to run out of battery here, I think, so we'll cut this clip short. I've got something else I want to show you, so we'll get a new battery and we'll start a new clip. Okay, Simon Leach saying, keep practicing. Simple as that. Bye now.